Okay. Sweet. I've been trying to do it right I've been living a lonely life I've been sleeping here instead I was sleeping in my bed Sleeping in my bed Hi guys, thank you very much for coming along today. It turned out to be a beautiful day, hasn't it? Um, if I could grab all immediate family to uh, take their seats, please. Um, Kaylee's family on the left, Kyle's family on the right. Um, all unimmediate family, so everybody else, uh, just to sit, be uh, stand behind, please. Uh, and we're gonna be getting started probably in the next 10 minutes or so. So get yourself sorted, that'd be great. I've been trying to do it right I've been living a lonely life I've been sleeping here instead I've been sleeping in my bed Sleeping in my bed So show me family And all the bird did I And I don't think you're right for him Think about what might have been If you took a bus to Chinatown And I'd be staying in on good now Yeah, and by Standing next to me And I belong with you You belong with me You're my sweet heart And I belong with you You belong with me You're my sweet heart And I belong with you You belong with me You're my sweet heart And I belong with you You belong with me You're my sweet heart Let's hope 
for a song Cause oh, yeah, we need it now And I belong with you, you belong with me You're my sweet heart And I belong with you, you belong with me You're my sweet heart She loves me so in this I know for sure But does she really wanna <clears throat> Can't stand to see me walk out the door I don't try to fight the feeling The heart alone is killing me right now I thank God for mom and dad for sticking to together cause we don't know how yeah. 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 Separate's always better when there's feelings involved What they say is nothing is forever And all what makes love The love the exception So why, oh why, oh why, oh why, oh why Why are we in denial when you know you're not a happy here? All right, everybody, if I could get you guys to sit down, the bride is on her way. She's just on Hastings Street, so if I could get everyone uh, who's to take seats, please, get you guys sitting down. Everyone to be standing uh, behind the chairs, please. Again, Kaylee's family on the left-hand side, Kyle's family on the right-hand side, and then we'll just fill in the gaps uh, as we find out who needs a seat. Think you got it. Oh, you think you got it. You got it, just don't get it till there's nothing at all. What they say is nothing is forever. Makes love. The 
love exceptions. So why, 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 why we end it now when you know you're not happy? So and this I know for Alrighty guys, the time has come. If I could please grab everyone on their seats. Uh, everyone standing behind nice and close. Come on. We don't care about COVID right now. Who cares? It's a wedding. Come on. Everyone get nice and close. No, no 1.5 metres separating us. It's love today, everyone. Come on, nice and close. Here we go.
and how falling in love with you like a river flows surely to the sea darling so it goes some things are meant to be take my hand take my Like a river flows surely to the sea, darling, so it goes. Some things are meant to be. Take my hand, take my hold. Falling in love with you For I can't help Falling in love with you Take my Take my whole life to For I can help Falling in love with you For I can help Falling in love Please be seated if you've got a seat. Well, friends and family, we are gathered here on this occasion, in this special place and online, to unite in the bonds of marriage, Kyle and Kaylee. We will witness the vows they make together and celebrate with them their new beginning. I should introduce myself. You may have guessed already that there is some resemblance to Kyle. The height. The muscles. Uh, the general physique and the good looks Kyle gets from his mother. So although it is hard to believe, I am Kyle's father. My name is George. I'm a Lutheran services chaplain and I'll be conducting the wedding ceremony today. You ready? Aside from a special welcome to you all here today, we also welcome those who join us from around Australia, family in New South Wales, uh, family in New Zealand, and over in the United Kingdom. 
and anywhere else for that matter where people would join us online. Special, a special greeting to uh, Nana and Pop in New Zealand and Nana in Wollongong. We're going to begin with a prayer. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, as you were present at the wedding at Cana and blessed it, be present at this wed wedding today and bless Kyle and Kaylee. Fill them with joy in their life together and grant that they, as they journey together in this union, continue to seek your guidance and blessing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Bible reading today is a very familiar reading, particularly at weddings. It's out of 1 Corinthians chapter 13. What if I could speak in all languages of humans and even of angels, if I did not love others, I would be nothing more than a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. But if I could prophesy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and what if I had faith that moved mountains, I would be nothing unless I loved others. What if I gave away all that I owed and let myself be burned alive, I would gain nothing unless I loved others. Love is patient and kind, never jealous, boastful, proud or rude. Love isn't selfish or quick-tempered. It doesn't keep a record of wrongs that others do. Love rejoices in the truth, but not in evil. Love is always supportive, loyal, hopeful and trusting. Love never fails. Everyone who prophesies will stop and unknown languages will no longer be spoken. All that we know will be forgotten. We don't know everything and our prophecies are not complete. But what is perfect will someday appear and what isn't perfect will then disappear. When we were children, we thought and reasoned as children do. But when we grew up, we quit our childish ways. Now all we can see of God is like a cloudy picture in a mirror. Later we will see him face to face. We don't know everything, but then we will. Just as God completely understands us, for now there is faith, hope and love, but of these three the greatest is love. What we are doing here today is important for a few reasons. Firstly, it honours Kyle and Kaylee. They have invited you to be part of this special day which will never be forgotten. Secondly, it recognises for all of us that life's purpose and meaning is not, not just about the individual. We get great purpose in life partnering with others and in this context marriage and also the possibility of family. And thirdly, marriage is a level of commitment worthy, worthy of its own classification and in being joined together in marriage both Kyle and Kaylee will honour each other. It's no wonder, then, that when Jesus rocked up at the wedding in the town of Cana, that some amazing things happened. It was at this wedding that Jesus did his very first miracle. He turned the water into wine. Don't you love that? The fact that the miracle was performed at a wedding is also significant. By his attendance, Jesus placed his stamp of approval on the marriage covenant. And with his miracle, he shows from where the blessings in marriage come from. Also, Jesus may have chosen this family situation to perform this miracle because it is, it is something everyone in every culture can relate to. An ordinary setting with ordinary people, but when put together can do extraordinary things. In the scripture reading, it talks about what love is and what love isn't. 
Love isn't jealous, boastful, proud, rude, selfish, quick-tempered, doesn't keep record of wrong that others do. It's not a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. But love is patient, kind, rejoices in the truth, always supportive, always hopeful, trusting and understanding. And then at the end of life, what is important? Is faith, yes, hope, yes, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Love. Kyle, there is no woman more worthy of your love, commitment, and loyalty than Kaylee. And Kaylee, there is no man more worthy of your love, commitment, and loyalty than Kyle. Guard your love and affections for each other. You are both good-looking individuals. Together, you are extraordinary. That by itself will draw the attention of others or outsiders. When your mum says and your dad says that they love you, that's good, but it's different. When your siblings say they love you, that's good too, but that's different. When your friends say they love you, and I've heard that several times over the past couple of days, be thankful, but it's different. When you both say to each other, I love you, picture that in capital letters, because it's different to all the rest. Be jealous of it, guard it with wisdom, protect it with everything you have. There will be times throughout your marriage that will mean digging deep into what your love actually means, because one thing you can guarantee in life, tough times will come. Your vows that you say today will give us a glimpse into what that love means to you. May Jesus turn what you present to us today and turn it into the most exquisite, priceless, long-lasting wine. And I understand you've got your own vows that you're going to uh, read to us today. And so, Kyle, um, we will let you be the first one to read us your vows. More importantly, say your vows to Kaylee. Kaylee Marie Rankin. <laughs> yes, that's been six years in the making and we're finally here. I say finally because it feels like we've been together in this forever blossoming friendship for a lifetime. 4,200 meals, eight barley trips, moving two states, one stolen car, and one amazing daughter, Ava. <laughs> We've become closer and closer, the good and the bad, but we love each other. Kaylee, I love you. I love the way that you let me know how much you love me. I love your honesty, blatant, blatant honesty, <laughs> your generosity, your caring nature. I love how you make me laugh. I love how you give me the drive and determination to be the best person I can be. You're really that perfect. As I look into our future, I see plenty of joy. I see baby Rankins. I see us growing old, although still staying young together. You're really my perfect. I love you.
Kyle, from our very first meeting, I was totally swept off my feet by you. Never had I met a man so kind, general, <laughs> gentle, and generous. I remember thinking he's tall, gorgeous, with blue eyes, and he can cook, marry this man. <laughs> I love your thoughtfulness, your ability to keep me wild, and always smiling. I love your loyalty to me, and I love our relationship. I love your crazy ideas. <laughs> Even though they've taken us to some wild places. And I love your crazy ideas to make money. I love you. I love you for constantly doing your best to better our lives together. You really are the love of my life. I am the luckiest girl in the world to have you next to me forever. <laughs> I promise to always be there for you no matter how and what life throws our way and laugh as much as we can along the way. I can't wait for the next chapter with us because I know it's the best is yet to come. I love you always. <laughs> well done. I must say, we love Ava, our grandpuppy, as well. So, thank you for that. Wonderful vows. I ask you, Kyle, will you take, will you have Kaylee Marie White as your wife? To live together in marriage as God has ordained, will you love her, comfort her, honour her and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I do. <laughs> Kaylee, will you have Kyle, George, Rankin as your husband to live life together in marriage as God, God has, has ordained? Will you love him, comfort him, honour and protect him? and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. I do. <laughs> You've got your hands together, which is great. I'm going to pray for you. Actually, I'll get you to say this after me, Kyle, first. I, Kyle, in the presence of God and these witnesses... I, Kyle, in the presence of God and these witnesses, take you, Kaylee Marie White, to be my wife. Take you, Kaylee Marie White, to be my wife. <laughs> Not finished yet. <laughs> to have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. So long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Your turn, Kaylee. I, Kaylee, in the presence of God and these witnesses. I, Kaylee, in the presence of God and these witnesses. Take you, Kyle George Rankin, to be my husband. Take you, Kyle George Rankin, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold for this from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better and for worse. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Fantastic. Uh, Jackson's going to come forward uh, with the rings, a very important part of the ceremony. If you could stand in front, front there, that'd be great. Very good. So, Kyle, will you take?
Kaylee's ring. Do I take this yet? Not yet. Okay. Keep that. So you can just stand to the side for a moment. Kaylee, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage, as a sign of our marriage and, the vows we have made today. and the vows we have made today. Kyle, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage, as a sign of our marriage and, the vows we have made today. and the vows we have made today. Excellent. So, <laughs> as also a symbol of uh, the union that's happening here today between Kyle and Kaylee. Um, we're going to do a sand ceremony. So I'm going to invite uh, Kyle and Kaylee to come to the little table um, just over here on, on the side. Maybe uh, the bridal party will have to move out of the way just for a little bit during the sand ceremony. So if I invite you to come over with me. So um, just to explain a little bit about the sand cer ceremony, um, Kyle and Kaylee are their own individuals and therefore have their own vials of sand. So Kyle, you've got yours and Kaylee, you have yours there as well. Uh, these vials symbolise what their marriage represents. They will pour their own vial of sand into the one larger glass. Each individual vial represents their whole individual selves. everything that they are. The central centre vessel represents their union today in marriage, the coming together of their complete selves into one. And just as the sand is poured and combined, the sand can never be divided again. It can never be distinguished as it once was, although it remains its individual uh, self, although now combined as one. Just as the sanctity of marriage can never be divided or broken. So I invite you to take your own individual vial now and slowly pour it into the individual vessel. We can give them a round of applause for that. Great pouring, I must say. We're going to have the signing of the certificate now. So if um, you can have a seat there, right where you are. And uh, those that are being witnesses today could come forward from the fellas and from the ladies. And we'll have the signing of the certificate. Oh, your heart is all 
favorite song when you said you looked a mess right underneath my breath but you heard it darling So we'll get you to join your hands. We're going to pray now for you. Lord, thank you for Kyle and Kaylee and this mark in the sand that they have symbolically and literally made today. This is no small thing, but an extraordinary step in their lives together. Watch over them and may they always know that you are with them and that they are in safe hands. After all, this was your idea, first of all. You destined them to be together as husband and wife. May your blessing be on them today and all the days of their life together. In Jesus' name, amen. Since Kyle and Kaylee have promised themselves to each other before God and in the presence of us all today, I have great joy in announcing them as husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no one separate. Now, Kyle, I invite you to do this most important kiss as you claim your bride with a kiss. So do it. We're waiting. So ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together again for Mr. and Mrs. Kyle and Kaylee Rankin. Who's ready for a little boat party for the next 30 minutes as we get to the reception? Make some noise or right, we're at a wedding! A little bit louder, here we go! That's a bit better! 
All right, guys, you're going to follow us. We're going to take you down to the boat. We're going to get on there, and then we're going to get ourselves over to the boathouse, all right? So grab yourselves a drink, a little roadie on your way, and we'll uh, make our way down to the boat. To the Sofitel. We're going to the Sofitel. Ferry Sofitel. But we'll just, we'll guide you down there.